My name is Gavin Evans and this is my review of Willow. Now I watched this movie once before and absolutely hated it. I thought it was incredibly boring, but a friend of mine recommended it to me recently. The TV show adaptation is on, so I'm like, you know what, I'll give it another shot. And after watching it again all these years later, I still hate this movie. I no. Just I understand some people grew up with it, but I think this is just terrible in every single way. Ron Howard directed it, and if I'm being honest, I think he is the most overrated director in Hollywood. He's made a few movies I love, like Cinderella Man, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, and Rush. And there might be a few other movies of his I like, such as Parenthood. I didn't mind his Hillbilly Elegy. Uh, I'm sure there's others I'm forgetting, but my goodness, like his Da Vinci Code movies are just atrocious. All three of them. His um, In the Heart of the Sea is terrible. I found 13 Lives to be incredibly boring. Solo is the second worst Star Wars movie. Uh, the list goes on. I just do not like him as a director. And this movie just highlights why. His directing is just so flat. It is so lifeless. There is not an ounce of energy or personality to this movie. The pacing is just atrocious. Like this movie is two hours and five minutes and there is no excuse for that one time. Like this movie could have easily lost 40 minutes and it would have been all the better for it. But I will give some credit where it's due, I guess. The production design, the makeup and the costumes and all that do look good. Some of the outdated effects do have their own little charm to it. So th there's that element of the directing that I don't mind, but there's all these other elements that you need to have and need to include to be a good director and he just has none of them. He's competent and that's as positive as I can go with him on being a director. He's able to make movies. There's very little of himself that he puts into them. Very little personality and it just shows like this movie is far more boring than it should be. Like you've got this great plot actually. That could have been this great adventure, but this movie is just lacking throughout and there was nothing about the characters that stood out to me in any way. Warwick Davis, I like him in some of like um, the Harry Potter movies and Star Wars. I think he's in Return of the Jedi. I think he's um, Wicked. I might be wrong there. Wicked and Willow. I've seen him in a few other stuff that I don't mind, but he is not nearly good enough of an actor to carry a movie. He does not have the screen presence to do so. He's very annoying in this movie. I did not like him for a single second. And then you've also got Val Kilmer and Joanne Rayleigh who are trying their best but they're just not given the strongest material. And then you've got Jean Marsh who I actually find to be frustrating because she plays the villain and we just don't see the villain for the majority of this movie. Like she's after this baby. She wants the, this baby dead. And it would be great if we cut back to her every now and again and we got reminded of her cruelty. Like we see her torturing people and turning them into animals or something like that. But she's just barely existent for 90% of this movie. And then we get to the last act and she finally comes alive and Jean Marsh is legitimately great in some of the last act. She turns everyone to pigs at a certain point and I'm like, oh wow, this is actually pretty unnerving. If I saw this scene as a kid, I'd be traumatized. 
And I'm just like, okay, I like the direction this last act is heading in. Everybody is turned into pigs and it's up to Willow to save the day. But then in the very next scene, everybody's human again. It lasts for like two seconds. And it's just like, why would you do that? Like, you had a great moment, easily the best moment in this entire movie, and you just immediately undid it. Like, what a stupid freaking decision. And then the villain gets defeated by her accidentally banishing herself or some shit like that. I don't know. It, it was garbage. So, there's not really much else for me to say about this movie. You know? There's potential in the story. You've got elements of Moses and Snow White and some other adventure stories here. There is some good craftsmanship on display. I do like some of the effects, no matter how dated they may be. It looks like they use some stop motion at a certain point. But this movie is far too long. It's lacking in any bit of personality or energy. Warwick Davis is legitimately terrible in this movie. And it's just... relentlessly boring. Like, I watched this movie twice and that's it for my lifetime. I'm good. I don't ever need to watch it again. So, I'm going to go ahead and give Willow a 3 out of 10. Okay, that might seem a little nice, but I really do like that pick scene. Like, for the craftsmanship alone, I was going to go 2 out of 10, but that pick scene is great and despite how they undid it, it it bumps it up to a three. I'm not saying my rating system is perfect, but that's the way it is. But have you seen Willow? If not, will you? I think that joke's funny, maybe? Not really, maybe not. Ah, I should have just left it alone. But what do you think of this movie? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for some more videos soon. And Gavin, out.